Hello, welcome to today's Watching the Workshop. Hopefully, today you're going to see me welding some stuff back in this and not just finding more rot. Right, door's off and it's uh, bad. A new repair technique I found. What you do at the top here, in all of this area, put in filler but without hardener. So it stays gummy, like it. Um, <laughs> taking off this plate. There's basically nothing holding on what was left of the A-post. It's not actually attached here, where it's supposed to be at all. For some reason, that seems to not attach. The whole A-post was just flexy. And uh, the bottom of it has, well, nothing left. Oh, dear. We could say that the tape sums up the car, but uh, I managed to find... A sill for this side with some floor pan repair attached. Well, I've cut off the sill. Um, I had to hoover up most of the car. Uh, yeah, that top bit that I need to weld to is still okay, thankfully. Because this new, new sill follows the exact same pattern. Goes in along there. As I say, it's not a not a quality uh, item really, but should do the job. But yeah, I've not got a lot to work with in here at all. I've got to think how it is I'm going to repair that. Um, tricky. Well, I cut you know, three or four cuts and that's the whole A post off. I don't think there's anything I can do with that. I just don't. There's nothing left to be able to recreate it. So if anybody's watching this that's got a donor, 1100, 1300, some kind of ADO 16, I really need an A-post cutting off because I just don't think I've got anything to go on with that. Um, so what I can do now is had a patch put in the inner wing. Obviously, like everything else, they don't cut out anything rotten. No, no. So I'll cut this off, the remnants of that, and weld that properly. And I'll patch up that hole that was full of filler from the inside to make this one bit that's left strong at least. So I've got something strong to put the A-post onto and get a bit of rigidity back in the car. Um, I could do this sill, but I'd really like to... Uh, I suppose it still goes to there, so it should be okay. I want to leave as much access as I can here for fixing the A-post, but perhaps I'll do the seal while I wait for a resolution for that. Now at this point, I stopped for a couple of days. After seeing just how rotten this was, I was really questioning my motivations. Uh, I spoke to some friends and family and they said, don't be afraid to give up, it's it's okay to give up on it. And uh, So obviously I'm not going to do that, <laughs> but clearly I'm going to carry on. But I have seen better in scrapyards and yes it's bad but if i don't save it nobody else is going to that bit of history will be lost so having come this far i think i've just got to carry on well that inner sill is all just terrible and the sill stiffener is non-existent but it's not going to get any less rusty from looking at it is it let's get to it right Got rid of the rusty remains in there. Um, I've cut a bit to replace this. I cut out the rot there, cut a bit to replace that. So I'm going to attach this inner wing repair to this inner panel. So I'm going to weld down here to get them a bit stronger. I'll weld this piece in and then that's ready for the A post whenever I can find one. And then next, the sill, I have separated this to make it into a proper repair panel rather than over sill. So I've cut the sill section away from the floor section. So I've got the old plasma cutter out, started along here. So I'm going to plasma cut out along the edge of the floor, up here a bit, up here a bit. Then I'll lay the floor section in on top of this so it's in the right place. Then I'll cut the rot out of that floor at the right place, lay the new section in, then I've got to work on replacing this sill stiffener panel 
will come down here between the floor and the sill. Obviously there won't be a seam like there's supposed to be, but um, I'm really not concerned on this car. I just want it to be safe. So I'll get the welder out. I'm sure that's fine. I'm trying to find where that smoke was coming from and blowing air up the inner wing and it was still smoking. I eventually tracked it down. Corner of that glove box got a little bit hot. Whoops. Well, it's solid again. Um, this bit of welding went okay on, the, on this plate, but in here was absolutely horrible because I couldn't clean in there properly. So you've got two dirty, rusty, horrible surfaces. So I just turned the welder up a bit hotter and burnt my way in there. But it doesn't really matter what it looks like. The fact is now the inner wing is tied back to the body again because... <laughs> Yeah, I don't think they'd bothered, basically. Certainly, it's supposed to be attached here and with the A-post, and it wasn't, so just going to make this car that bit safer. So next, I'm on to the floor panel. I'll just try and slide that in at the minute, see where it sits, and I can cut back the floor in the right place and go from there. Now, if I was doing a proper restoration, I wouldn't do this. I'd butt the two panels up against each other and weld the two together and then linch it back so you'd never know that they were two separate panels. But, given the way this car is, what I'm doing is running this joggler along the edge to create a step in the panel. So then this will sit on top of the existing floor at the edge. I'll cut the existing floor back to here. And they'll sit neatly on top of each other and I can weld them together. I can either plug weld through here or I can weld there, but you've got a bit of an overlap between two. Make your life a bit easier. All right, we got a sill stiffener back in place. Not as good as the original one, hasn't got the pressing holes in it, whatever, but it's better than nothing. Uh, so that's all welded on securely. I think I'm going to have to put the sill on next, actually, rather than the floor. Hopefully I'll still have enough room here for the A-post, because this bit of top sill will be missing anyway. So I should have some access, but I can always just chop off the front of the sill if I have to. Um, but yes, I need to get that in the right place and know exactly where the bottom of this needs to bend to, so then I can get that in the right place up against it. So that's next. Okay, so I've got the sill tacked on, I've got the floor repair tacked on, and we've got the sill sniff stiffener in there, uh, and now we're at welding gas. So that's probably a good juncture to end this video. At least we've made some progress now, there's bits going back on rather than just stripping out and finding more rot. So I think we've turned a corner. Not saying it's ever going to win any concourse shows, but we're getting a little bit closer towards it being a solid car. So for now, thanks for watching.